Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can delete some of the default Mac OS X applications. So when you get your Mac, there might be some apps installed that you never use and that you don't really want. And if you try to delete them by going up into the Finder and into your Applications folder, and let's say I try to delete something like QuickTime Player, and I put it in the trash, it's going to tell me it can't be modified or deleted because it's required by Mac OS X. Now, some of these apps, um, for example, Photo Booth, Stickies, they all do the same thing. They tell you they can't be deleted. They actually can be deleted. While some of them, like Safari, are critical to the system performing the way it should be and aren't really recommended to be deleted. So I originally ran across a post on OS X Daily that showed a terminal way to delete these apps. And I'll show you that here because it's actually pretty handy. So if you open up a new terminal window, you're going to want to go to your Applications folder. So I'm going to type in the CD space slash applications and slash again. Now I'm in my applications folder. Now whatever application I want to delete, I can use the same command for over and over. So I'm just going to do a quick backup of stickies here so that it's not deleted. And I am going to type in sudo space rm space dash rf space and then stickies dot app. So now if I hit enter, you're going to see it asks me for my password. I type that in, and the application's gone from my applications folder. So I can move stickies back into here. Um, and this this solution works pretty well, actually, and uh, it's, it's very fast. But the only issue with it is working with commands like sudo are pretty deep system level commands. And if you, you know type the wrong thing or you don't know what you're doing, you can kind of mess things up. And if you're just kind of a new user with terminal it's probably not something you want to be messing with so I actually found a way that you can do this using completely the finder and nothing else for this example I'm going to use QuickTime player uh, but this works the same for all the default apps that you'd want to delete so all I have to do is right click on it and select get info and in this QuickTime player info box you can see the issue as to why it won't delete and that is because the sharing of permissions section for the default apps is set up so that it can't be deleted so all I have to do is click on this lock button right here, and it's going to ask me for my password again. And once I have that entered, I can change all these privileges to read and write. So this will allow full system access to all these. And then I can click the lock icon again. So now you can see when I drag QuickTime Player to the trash, it goes down there and it goes in the trash without any complaining at all. And you can empty the trash and you'll be just fine. So that's all there is to it, and it's a very easy way that you can do this right in Finder. So there's how you can delete your default system apps in Mac OS X. And once again, it's not recommended to do this for things like Safari because some of the components in them are kind of required by the system and some functionality might be missing if you do that. Uh, but for other ones like Stickies and things like that, Photo Booth, it's just fine. If there's anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.